What's up, y'all? This your girl, Grandma. I'm coming at y'all to show you guys how I lay my baby hairs. Um, and also how I get the black out of my baby hairs. I had a video on this before, but it was with another edge control. And I have since found a newer edge control. Well, not a newer, but a different edge control that I like better than the one that I used previously, which was Hicks Edge Control. Hicks Edges? Or something like that. I think it was Hicks. Um... Yeah, this is an old container, but it looked like this. This was the old one that I used. It's pretty good, but I find at the end of the day, my hair be greasy around my forehead a lot. And I don't like that, but it's actually not as greasy as others, but it's still, you know, greasy. But I found one. It's called Eben. I don't know if I can zoom in. It's called Eben, uh, Eben, E-B-I-N. And it's um, the one with the purple top, Extreme Firm Hold. The girl at the beauty supply store recommended me this. She said this was better than Hicks. And I tried it, and I actually like it better than Hicks. It don't leave that greasy feeling or, you know, nothing like that. So screenshot this, y'all. Screenshot this and go and get you some, cause, well, at least try it. Cause I can't say it's gonna, it's the, you know, I can't say it's the bomb cause different strokes for different folks. You feel? Me, but I like it. So I am going to take off my bonnet. I already laid my hair down. And if you're interested in this bonnet, by the way, this is one that I make from my website, goldencreations.webs.com. The link will be down in the uh, description box below. And I'm going to take off uh, my head scarf. I tied this down because I did um, moisturize and seal and put virgin hair fertilizer in my hair today. Y'all, y'all can already see that my hair is kind of already squished lay down or whatever these braids today makes three solid weeks today makes three solid weeks for these braids that i have so my long-term protector style so the only okay so the first thing i do i was gonna say the only the first thing i do is i get this which is called Age Beautiful Root Touch-Up to cover my gray hairs. I don't know if you guys can see them. I don't have as many because I did uh, color my hair a couple months ago. But I have like some gray hairs right here in this area right here. And I might have a few over here. Not sure if they're picking up on camera though. Um, so I spray that area of my hair. This stuff right here is called Root Touch-Up. It's called, I ain't tell you that, Age Beautiful Root Touch-Up. And um, it is for like when your roots grow out and you have like the different color hair, you want to touch it up instead of doing a whole like gray, I mean black color or whatever, you can just spray your roots. But I use it for my gray edges. So, and um, because that's mostly where I got the gray hair from. So you want to spray this on lightly about six inches away from your hair and don't spray on like a big blob you feel me don't spray a big blob because you don't want to look like you you painted your face you don't want to look like you got paint around there you know you don't you don't want that just don't and if you don't have no edges don't spray this on your edges because you're just gonna look a mess just put on the wig and cover them up till you get them treated Anyways, um, all I do is I take this gel. It looks like this. You see, I've been using it for a while because it was kind of like up to the top. So I've been using it for a while. So I got a pretty good, so, you know, I can give y'all a kind of decent review on it, um, on what my take because um, a lot of those edge controls are good at first. Like a lot of them are good. As soon as you like out the jaw, they're good at first. But later on, then they be like, ew, I don't like it no more because I got grease around my forehead. So y'all know I wear glasses now. So yeah, I got to bear with me. So I got to put this on. And I have a lot of hair around my hairline. I have a very full hairline. Thank God because a lot of it came out. So we just going to put this around now. It don't leave that white, sticky, icky, icky feeling. Don't use too much. You know, too much of anything cause buildup. So you don't want to like apply too much. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. Hold on. Okay, so now that I have gotten my edge control on, and again it is in a container like this called even. Hopefully I got a good view of that. The one with the purple top. Now in the hair store, they got a whole bunch of different colors. Um, 
get the one with the purple top. That's what they told me was the best one. The girl in the house though told me it. So I just take this and I'm using my my edge comb. They got this at the beauty supply store, my local beauty supply store. I think it was a dollar ninety nine, I believe. So I just take the brush first and I just brush it all down. Trying to do it in a swoop motion. Um, it depends on how much hair you grow on your edges and how your hair gonna look. Because a lot of people don't grow that much hair around their they edges. Not that they, they don't have no edges, but some people just don't grow like hairs on their edges. Um, like, they, they don't come down. They probably go back or something. But mine grow down. And uh, just comb all this down. I tend to comb that down first. And uh, look, I have to keep putting my glasses on and off because I can't see without them. So I come back with the comb and kind of like I can go in like that and go in like that I can just push in with the comb a little bit you know and then right here I can either leave that down or I can come up with it if I wanted to So that's what's convenient about this comb. I think it was called Perfect Edges. I'm not sure what the name of the brand name of the comb was. I know I did a review before and I had got that other comb from Walmart, but since then I have been seeing this comb in the beauty supply store. And I go on this side and I just brush it all down. Before you curve it, it's best to like brush it before you put your um, waves in it. If you're going to put waves in it, you can actually just keep going straight down and leave that be too. Just take it in a swerve kind of motion. Then I come back and I put these little indentures in it like that. If I got to hold them, I will. If I don't, then I won't. Okay, now you don't want those thick lines right there, like what's like right there. You don't want that thick line. You want to see if you can break it up and make it break those hairs up. That ain't nothing but a bunch of hairs clumped together right there. So you want to try your best to see if you can break that up. Okay. And get here and just put your little curves in it however you want them you can pretty much make your baby hairs however you want them to lay lay them how you want them to lay cause it's your hair your hairline I do them different sometimes if I'm in a hurry I don't do all this curving like what I'm doing now I don't do all that I just kind of do a, a little swoop and I go and I do a little swoop and go and I love this edge control my edge is going to be laid when I wake up in the morning probably because it's kind of in the evening right now and I'm just doing these for video purposes and no it does not leave no residue just be mindful of how much you apply be mindful of how much you apply and then you will, you know, it'll work really good. So, that's how I do my hairline. Right there. I'm trying to get at a little swoop or something, but that probably ain't gonna work. I really don't be swooping all of that like that. I gotta be really like going somewhere. But... Okay, now I got my edges done. Now what I'm going to do with my hair now, let me turn around and show you guys my hair. Make sure if you like got like nappy hair back here, you might want to put some edge control on that and like brush it up. But I'm not going to do all of that because I'm not really about to go nowhere, like for real. So I am going to put my ponytail in. Now when I first got my hair braided, I initially had a silky straight ponytail in there but the older my hair got it got a little nappier like fuzzier so I opted to go with this ponytail I switched it out 
And this is just a ponytail from Amazon. It came in this bag, which is which is pretty neat. I'll leave the link in the description box below if I can remember. If one of y'all want to know and I forget to leave the link, just tell me, you know, remind me, and then I'll put the link down there. And um, it's just a drawstring ponytail, and it has two combs in it, one on each side, and it has the drawstring in it. And uh, I didn't want, I done had one of these ponytails before, but it was more of a rounder puff. But this one is more of a messier look, messier, kinkier look. So, not kinky, messier, curly um, look. So, I thought it would match my hair very well at this moment. So, I just put it up here like this. I just put it on, just like you put a drawstring ponytail. Cuff it on over the, um, the ponytail that you got. Stick the combs in it. Make sure the combs are not touching your scalp. Make sure you just put the combs in your hair. Pull your string as tight as you can stand it. Wrap your string around. Wrap your string around. And tuck it under. And put your bobby pins up under, I mean, in your ponytail. I always put two bobby pins because I have a comb on both sides. So I don't think it's necessary to have like five bobby pins. I just put like one in the top and one in the bottom. Make sure ain't none of that pressing against your scalp because you don't want to cause any um pain, any, you know, because your scalp kind of these bobby pins are kind of hurt if you stick them on if they're touching your scalp for a long period of time okay so that's it y'all i got my hair done i know i look a little it they look a little old yeah i know but hey this is how we stretch my um this is how i stretch my long-term protective style and these are going to be in for approximately one more week which will be next Tuesday. I will be taking these down, these braids, next Tuesday or sometime next week. Maybe it could be after Tuesday. Depends on how I feel. Depends on, you know, how I'm liking it. But I like it like this. This is how I rock my edges. Some days I don't always wear them like this, but this is how I got them today. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holla at y'all later. Bye.